I see the image of a giant right hand right in front of my face reaching out to grab me inches from my face. This is some kind of secret occult. You know, and that's the whole thing with this whole <clears throat> Masonic stuff also and this idea of the obscured hexagram and the seal of Solomon. I mean, that's why I say it's pre-Nazi. It's proto-Nazi. It's, But the Nazis, it is also Nazi. So when you see the Masonic square... That's the compass, I guess. This is the compass and the square linked together like that, and there's like a, a diamond in between, but they call it an obscured hexagram. My pen ran out. Right? It's an obscured hexagram because you could go like this and this, and you get it. Seal of Solomon, a.k.a. Star of David. The Seal of Solomon can be also this, which linked to the Order of the Eastern Star. The Order of the Eastern Star inverts it, I think, because it's linked to a human body, right? It's a human body, a gingerbread man. So this is, a you know, when you invert it, it's a human hanging upside down, the hanged man. So all these are linked together. The Seal of Solomon, the hanged man. Um, and the Seal of Solomon can be a hexagram or a pentagram. So this is all way before the Nazis. So I think a lot of times the religious overtones and the occult overtones, and sometimes it's just like a, um, they're real because people take it all seriously, but it kind of just obscures what, you know, you know, one thing I kind of like just, you know, you look at things just in terms of simple ethics and simple legal, you know, what's lawful and what's not lawful, what's ethical and what's not ethical. Experimenting on children, regardless of your reasoning for it, without consent or, you know, for profit or for sexual, sexual exploitation or for the purposes of social engineering or any of those things is illegal and unethical. And somehow, you know, they have folded it into the situation that we're in, but they also have this assassination program going on. And so it seems to be like this thing where children are experimented on. And then if any kind of problems happen, they solve all these quote unquote problems, or they quote unquote solve these problems with assassinations. And so that's what, that's what we're dealing with right now is, you know, we don't want to sit here, we know, I know what's been going on, and so they want to cover it up by assassinating people and just continue. And as far as this whole thing with Christmas time for the Jews, okay, so this was all on Christmas that I had these dreams. Um, <clears throat> that could have all kinds of different meanings too, because obviously Dr. Rosenfeld is Jewish, but this this is a program which also targets Jewish people um, because it is a Nazi program. So even though it's pre-Nazi, it's still also Nazi. Um, and um, when I go back and look at um, stuff like Christmas time for the Jews or other, you know, sort of things along that, those lines at Saturday night live, like there was one called, you call this a wonderful life. I'm seeing hints in there that Jewish doctors, like it's not just Dr. Rosenfeld, there's other Jewish doctors who are involved in this. Um, so I know, okay, for example, I'm getting, you know, I get dreams, right? I get messages. Oh, there is more. Okay. I should just keep going. Um, that is to say, I get dreams and I get messages and things like that. There have to be doctors involved that are actually trying to help me. Um, so, you know, not everything is totally cut and dried, but, um, you know, I'm glad that there are doctors that are using this technology to try to help me with, I guess I would just say. If I've got the hardware in my head, you know, I would prefer it being used to help rather than hurt. Though I would not have chosen to have this hardware put into my body had I been given a choice. 
Okay, um, 4.21 p.m. So, okay, so now I guess I took a nap. Is it p.m. or is it really a.m.? I, I don't know. Okay, mid-1980s, like 1986, fillings, idea of crystal, crystal teeth. Idea of a hand grabbing around my head from behind. It's Louis, linked to Louise Koch. Louise to the possible link to the 1986 feelings. Possibly this is, appears to be correct because in that dream from 1988, where I had these crystal teeth coming out, you know, it's like ice, right? And I realized it's ice, like as in assassinations. So the teeth are really there for assassinations. Um, so when it, you know, there's a whole kinds of stuff to talk about in that regard, you know, like, for example, the fact that, you know, the, these dentists are putting this stuff in that seems to go back along the way. So I'm finding more and more stuff about this going back and there's even a reference to it in Austin Powers movie. And <sighs> anyway, um, it was linked to Louise Koch in 1988 in that dream. So it was linked to her in 1988, and it be linked to her now. See, eyes, nerve, idea of the Vargas nerve or something like that. There's, a, there's an article someone wrote that a lot of people have been linking to on Twitter saying something about the Vargas nerve being key to well-being. I thought that was interesting that, that that came out because I had been thinking about that a lot with regards to James Comey. Um, because when the Comey hearings were on TV, I was in this half sleep the whole time. And I remember hearing, you know, and feeling like having this feeling that Comey was like this really good guy. And now that I kind of have come back and I see that this is an addict, that's not the case at all. Comey's actually, um, one of these people with a secret personality, um, I suspected that the whole feeling of well-being that I felt when he was on TV talking in the background as I was sort of half asleep was actually a manufactured feeling and that a lot of the feelings that I've had, you know, whether good or bad, have been artificially manufactured from the outside in order to have me have certain attitudes towards certain people. Idea of moving somewhere, one place to another with two cats. I'm going to start a new video. For, well, should I? Yeah. Yeah. No, because it's, uh, this is the last thing. Okay, so moving somewhere, one place to another with two cats, Roxy and Lion. They're waiting for me. It's like I've moved from one apartment to another apartment. And I'm now moving to a third location nearby. Idea of unmade beds in the apart new apartment buildings. The third location seems to be near the street. I think it's called the B building in this apartment complex. So when I woke up, there's actually one couple that fits this description. Um, so in this dream, I have my two cats, Roxy and Lion, the two cats I had when I moved in here before Lion was killed. So I moved in here in 2014, 16, 17. So, over five years ago. Um, right next door, in the apartment next door, was living a couple. I can't remember the guy's name, but the woman's name was uh, is Dora. And I'm about to run out of um, memory on this. And I think it's about them. They, have a cat, they had a cat or have had cats. And they were doing surveillance. They were doing door slamming and other types of things. So, I, I think this is about them. Right now, they live upstairs. They used, used to live next door. 